Everybody, I'm just gonna show uh, everybody found this out. We're gonna do a little um, math thing on here. Hopefully, it'll record it. We have 4 multiplied by x to the second power multiplied by y to the third power and these are this is a monomial this is monomial a monomial whatever it is you know I forgot what it's called and then you divide it by 2 which is a very simple x it's going to leave x to the power of nothing and then y just make it a negative outcome mm, 2 so I guess it's not going to be negative alright then so this is going to equal 2 you see you divide these two together as you would you know separately you would divide these things right here separately boom 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 and you will get the outcome of let's see x by itself and y to the negative first oh no this is by itself so okay and then that's pretty cool right there this is another one right here um let's say you wanna Let's see. Uh, 18. Let's get 18. 18. X. Y. Z. To the second power. Subtracted from 6. Multiplied by Z. To the fourth power plus 9 multiplied by y to second power and you would divide that with let's see 3 with a monomial of y 4 and z so this is a trinomial being divided by a monomial and we would have I'm gonna erase this it would equal now 18 x y z to the second power divided by 3 now I forgot to mention that that when you're dividing a trinomial when you're dividing polynomials whether it's a bi, tri or mono, monomial whatever the denominator is in the bottom you divide uh, well, no, it's only a monomials that you're able to divide. This is this was in the bottom. This, this was the denominator. So everything that was in the top is going to be separately broken down and divided by the denominator in the bottom. And you keep the negatives and positives in between uh, the same. X and Y. This is to the fourth power. This is to the fourth power. This one. And three. Four. To the fourth power. Y. And you would have this one. Six. Z. To the fourth power. And you would have nine y to the second power and this is all that it would equal 2 so the denominator from any math problem that you do in algebra 
If you have a trinomial on the top being divided by a monomial on the bottom, the, monom the monomial is broken down and divided by each term of the trinomial. You break it down separately and you divide it. You, sub you divide this one, the, the coefficients, then you would then you would subtract the uh, exponents from the variables on the top and you would get this. I'm going to erase it again and it will come to this outcome. Now, the thing is though is that uh, to better learn math, you probably want to learn like why you would have these crazy polynomials, you know? I, I needed to do that. I needed to learn that. That's how I started to become so well at it. Because it has to be like, well, what would you use these math problems for? And basically, you can use them for all types of things. Why? You could, you could, you could have a, a variable being multiplied to a binomial, which is a, like if you have a picture frame where the length is a little bit longer than the width a few centimeters you would have the uh, the the length would be a binomial and the width would just be a variable by itself and you multiply them together and you would have the 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 length would be x plus two centimeters longer than x of the width and you would multiply and you put them together x squared plus uh, 2 multiplied by x which was b and you would just have the you know you just kind of figure out like that and that's like a picture frame you know the length is longer so you would add more to the width because of the centimeters that are in that are with uh, the, the length and it's kind of a little bit you know, confusing but And this is the end result, all this right here. Second to, you, you know, it went to 6 multiplied by y to the negative third power multiplied by z, subtracted from 2 multiplied by x multiplied by y to the fourth power multiplied by z plus 3 multiplied by x, y, z, and y to the second power multiplied by z. And that's what it will all result to. And uh, for right now, that's all I wanted to talk about. but. Like, like the picture frame, like for instance, if the length was longer than the width, the width would just be a variable of x. You want to find the area, you would multiply the length, which would be a binomial of, of x plus 20 centimeters more than the width. So you would have uh, the parentheses x plus 20 centimeters multiplied by x of the width. And you would x x multiplied by x is x squared plus 2 multiplied by x which would be the end result and you know you just find uh, the solution like that and uh, and there's other other reasons to uh, different uh, measurings uh, but uh, that's just a real kind of tricky thing and I'll try to explain that more better next time add, add more add more reason to the to the math problems but Thanks again for watching. This is mostly just for me to get better at it. Thank